Each year in the United States, it's estimated that 76 million people uh, come down with some type of foodborne illness. Even if you have you killed 99% of 1 million bacteria, that 1% is enough to make you sick or worse. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to give them an introduction of the microbial world with some concentration on what foodborne pathogens are out there, what pathogens are around them and transmission of these things, sources of pathogens. And the emphasis is also on how much of microbiology of the microbial world is around all of us. Uh, we came uh, because we were interested as a family in, in exploring some of these um, fascinating topics in science. My daughter Eva over there, who's six and a half, is really fascinated with science and she's learning about all kinds of different uh, areas of the natural world and, and one of them is bacteria and microorganisms and um, she's talking about chemistry and other stuff. So we wanted to learn more about that and then also we wanted to learn what some um, uh, you know, tidbits and tips, of course, would be about um, food safety and about, um, you know, all the precautions one could take and just learn about science, basically, and um, especially as it affects things like our food supply and, um, you know, we wanted to find out about bacteria and learn about that. What they'll do is they'll take a, a sample, they'll swab it on the agar plate, put the lid back on, and just let it incubate for a day or two, and then as a class, we will compare our notes or our petri dishes. And what I find intriguing is, is what samples they actually tested and what really piqued their curiosity about what is in their particular environment, food, or on their body. The emphasis is on just to find out what's out there. We did uh, just a variety of areas around the house, bathtub, sink, uh, sponge. My mom's cell phone, this right here. This is my favorite. And then I did the kitchen sink. We did some different vegetables, some that were in the fridge and some that were frozen to see how that affected them. And then we also did ones on uh, just sort of different environments. Like I did one that's just my toes to see like after walking around all day, like what is on my toes. And another one that we did was also like the rug in, the, in one of the houses. And then we also did a, uh, like a toothbrush, things like that, just to see what's growing around over the house and not just in the kitchen and in the food. Rarely, if ever, you'll find a, a pathogen uh, that's of concern. Uh, it, I just want to demonstrate how easy it is to transmit uh, these organisms from one surface to another and eventually into your body. If you think about a cantaloupe and how it's covered with a rind, you have to understand how easy it is to contaminate the inside of a cantaloupe. But just using a contaminated knife and you cut through the cantaloupe, you now have inoculated the inside. For the most part, you know, people probably just wash for, what, 10, 15 seconds? And I think it calls for like 30 seconds to 60 seconds with um, soap, water. You know, some foods, I don't care how long you wash, it, nothing's gonna happen. Like raspberries with all those nooks and crannies, if it's contaminated, you know, I don't know, only the amount of washing is not going to, to really help or make a, a difference. This is one of our food samples. That's some strawberries. These were about to go bad, and these are unwashed strawberries. You see there's all the black stuff, I think it's mold or fungus of some sort, and then the others probably bacteria that were already on the strawberries. So, wash your strawberries. There's groups, you know, in, in some cases, children of four, age of four or five are more susceptible to uh, certain pathogens, the elderly, the immunocompromised. In some cases, like with listeria, for the general population, it usually isn't a problem. Pregnant women, it can be a problem where it could actually kill the fetus. Hand washing is, is by far the number one way to prevent uh, transmission of uh, foodborne pathogens. Alcohol, 70% alcohol, is very effective for surfaces. Uh, after that, it's uh, proper processing of foods. Uh, including washing of the foods like we mentioned before and proper cooking. 
temperature and time. Now gather around now. What I do part is that, um, Sing along if you know the words. Even in the cleanest house, there's got to be some bacteria. Okay, and did you have a good time doing it? I did. Okay. I had a lot of fun. There's something growing in my refrigerator. There's something growing in my refrigerator. Twelve Diseases That Changed Our World. Available today from ASM Press at eStore.asm.org.